it's very impressive. It's a group of uh, 14 and 13 year olds and still strike a fear into all of us boys here. Uh, but it, it's still pretty amazing uh, watching the energy and, and drawing the positive energy out of it. Uh, what's the relationship like between New Zealand and Canada as far as rugby? It's obviously it's a bit of a mismatch when they're playing. Is it is it pity or I mean they taught the Canes how to do the hockey when they first came in. They had a nice welcome for them. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think actually New Zealanders feel a little bit of a, a connection. I think with Canada as well. There's been over time. There's been actually a really strong um, connection with Canadian rugby and the All Blacks. When they used to go on their tours to the UK, they would actually always stop in Vancouver and play the Canadians or British Columbia. Right. That was part of the tour of, in the past. Um, and so traditionally there was this connection where they, they catch the boat or they fly to Vancouver over time and then they move on to the UK from there. But it was always a stop on the tour. And so there's always been a long-term connection. And now with Karen Crowley, the national coach for Canada, as well being a Kiwi, there's sort of a joint connection. They just, they're, they're playing a, a very Good style of rugby, very good brand of rugby. Tonight's game, Canada plays Japan. Yep. Uh, what's your call there? Canada looks good so far. You know what? I I have to admit, before the World Cup, I told a few people I don't think Canada's going to win a game. Right. I didn't think they were going to win a game, but now I I would be very surprised if they lost tonight. And which will put them in third, which is a huge, huge boost for Canadian rugby. They played some really good rugby. Um, they've got. You know, some power across the board, they got some strong running backs, you know, some big forwards who keep control of the game, and I think they'll probably outplay Japan tonight. Though. And the game against your boys, that comes up eventually. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to make a call on the win-loss. I think we know what you think about that one, but uh, will you go easy on us there? Or? You know what, I don't think we will. I don't think we will. There's a, there's a thing in New Zealand rugby, because uh, they, they're often criticised for knocking 100 points over some teams and things, but there's a there's this thing that sort of says that to show respect for the opposition, you don't give up. You know, you, you, you always give 100% because if you give up, you're sort of, you know, you're saying... Like, you're insulting them. You're yeah. kind of insulting them in, in a sense. So there's always this thing within New Zealand rugby communities where you, you, you always give 100% and you always try right to the end and then after the game, it was just a game. You know, so I don't think that it will happen. And particularly this time around, when leading into the quarterfinals, the All Blacks are going to have to put out their best on the field too, I think. So it could be uh, an interesting day for Canada.